Hey guys, um, so I, I've realized recently while calibrating that there's actually a way to make things go a little bit faster. So I wanted to show you that in today's module. Um, so what I have opened up is um, just an uncalibrated uh, GMarker file. So I've already run all of the um, panels on it, or the panel on it. And now I just want to make sure that all of the peaks for the standard are right. right? So um, here is an example of a missing P, uh, 20 peak, right? And if, if that's not familiar with you, if that's not familiar with you, you may want to go back and check on some previous modules to make sure you understand why that's a 20. Um, in previous examples, I have shown you a trick where you hold control, right, and then left click and drag the 40 over, and then right clicking, fixing size, and changing it to 20. So it turns out that if you right click here and add a peak, what you couldn't do before is right click and fix size, right? See how that's gray? You wouldn't be able to do it. But here's a really, really weird bug, I guess, in Gene Marker. And that's if you, that is, if you double click on it with the left click, then you can go ahead and fix the peak size to 20. Okay, so I do that and press enter. And this time, everything looks wonderful. So um, that should make things go a lot faster. And uh, I wish I'd learned that before a few months ago. <laughs> um, occasionally, you will when you add a peak, double click, and a 20. Every once in a while, it will change the scores over here. I'm not finding a good example. Maybe this guy. That's not a good example. Maybe. Hmm. Try these. Ah, here's an example where you see when, when I change that to 20, it changed something over here. Right, so this is actually not 120, it's 114. And I go ahead and double click on that and enter 114, and now everything should be back to normal. To check, let's see, 97. The score is 97, so it looks good. Alright, um, hopefully that will make your lives easier. Thanks a lot.